everyone, I'm Chloe Coscarelli, and today I'm here with one of my oldest friends in the world, Nas. Hi. And together we are going to be baking what I like to call my closest cream-filled cupcakes. And we're filling them with a cream filling and topping them with a smooth and shiny chocolate ganache. The dry ingredients are very similar to the dry ingredients that you would put in regular non-vegan cupcakes. So no foreign ingredients here. We've got some flour. I'm gonna add some unsweetened cocoa powder. The important thing with cocoa powder is to make sure that you're not buying hot cocoa mix. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people get confused and those have a lot of additives and preservatives and sweeteners and that's not what you want. <laughs> so we've got that and Nas, why don't you add some sugar? The whole thing. The whole thing. It's about a cup of sugar and I'm gonna add some baking soda and you can add the salt. So if you're gonna whisk those together. Nas is a baker. You like to bake. I do. I always thought it would kind of be a little harder to do mm -hmm. vegan baking because it's so foreign, but it is actually a lot easier. One of the reasons that I wanted Nas to try these cupcakes with me is because Nas is Jewish and kosher. And vegan baking is actually great for people who keep kosher, right? Right. It's because when we eat meat, we can't have milk after. So I always bring vegan desserts to our family dinners so that we can have, you know, a nice dessert and not just some slices of watermelon after the dinner meal. <laughs> so on to the wet ingredients. Our main liquid ingredient in these cupcakes is actually a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And coffee is a great liquid to use when you're baking chocolate desserts because the coffee flavor really brings out the richness of the chocolate, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come through as coffee flavor. So it just enhances the chocolate without tasting coffee. Right. So we've got coffee and I'm gonna add just a half a cup of canola oil. And you can use any oil. You could use coconut oil, you could use safflower oil, vegetable oil. So any kind of simple oil will work. And then a splash of vanilla. Okay, so our next ingredient is vinegar. This is the one ingredient that stands out as being a little different from traditional baking. Uh, but vinegar is actually a great alternative for vegan baking because just a couple tablespoons of it will react with the baking soda in the batter and that actually causes the cupcake to bind together and it makes it really moist and fluffy and you don't need egg. So I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons. And is the coffee that you put in, is that hot coffee or cold coffee or? Just cooled is best because if it's hot, it'll mess with the reactions of the baking soda too okay. soon before it gets in the oven. Let's get this batter together. So I'm just gonna pour this in and if you wanna whisk it together, just go for it. And it's okay if it's a little lumpy in the end, you just want it to come together. But you don't wanna over mix it. Why don't you fill the cupcakes and you can actually start by lining them okay. with these cupcake liners. They're so pretty. I know, everything's matching today. I love Pink it. is the color. I'm gonna get started on the filling. So, this is the cream filling that goes inside the cupcake. I like this because it's an extra element of surprise. You see a beautiful cupcake, but then you bite in, and it's even better when you get to the center because there's cream filling. So, I'm gonna start by whisking together. What I have in here is non hydrogenated shortening. So, shortening is traditionally a oil product that was made with hydrogenated oils. But now there's a lot of brands out there that make it non-hydrogenated and organic, so it's not so bad for you. And it's great because it's a vegan alternative. Uh, so instead of using butter, we're using this oil blend. Just whisk that together. Okay, so now as you can start filling the batter, I like to use a cookie scoop because that way you get nice, even cupcakes. Okay, so my shortening is beat together, so now I'm gonna add the other ingredients, which is some organic powdered sugar. This will give the filling its body. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of soy milk and not gonna taste the difference. Just a couple tablespoons. The frosting really depends on the temperature and the humidity, so you're gonna wanna see how it looks as you're mixing it, and then just add a little more powdered sugar if it's too thin, add some more soy milk if it seems too stiff. Just taste it and see what you need to add. Just a touch of vanilla. Don't add too much or we'll lose that beautiful white color that we want. Good, looking good. Okay. Those look amazing. Apparently working at an ice cream shop was not my calling, so. <laughs> no, those honestly look perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together. Do you like my mixer? I love it. I want it. <laughs> I know. 
I love it too. It's my new baby. <laughs> I think we're almost there, just a little more soy milk. What type of consistency are you looking for? Is it like a thicker cream? Well, or? this is not a frosting. Okay. This is a cream filling. So because we're gonna be piping this into our cupcakes, the more fluffy and easier it mm -hmm. is to work with, the mm -hmm. easier it's gonna be to insert into the cupcakes. Okay. Um, so normally this would be a fine thickness to frost on top, but since we're trying to get it inside, we want it a little bit looser. Yum. All right, so Naz, these look great. Let's pop them in the oven. Okay. And then I'll just let this beat on high for another minute so it gets fluffy. Mm -hmm. And we'll bake these at 350 for about 14, 15, 16 okay. minutes. We'll have to check, do the toothpick test. Okay. Uh, but pop those in, thanks. Our delicious chocolate cupcakes are out of the oven. Oh Don't they look great? They smell so good. They're perfect. They have nice domes on top. You can tell they bounce back a little mm -hmm. when you push them. So we're gonna let those cool just a little bit longer. We've got our cream filling to put inside, so the only thing we're missing is the chocolate ganache for the top. Yummy. I Let's know. I'm always tempted to eat the cupcakes at this part, but just try to hold on <laughs> till you have all three components because it tastes that much better. So our ganache is really easy. We can do this quickly so we can get to the eating part. All we're gonna add is chocolate chips. And is this a double boiler? Yeah, this is a double boiler, which is good for melting chocolate because okay. if you put chocolate straight onto a heat in the pan, it will burn. It's too right. hot. So this okay. is a nice way of softening the heat source, but you could also use a microwave if you want, if you don't have time to set up the double boiler, but yeah. just any pot, a little bit of water, and a bowl on top. Let's get to it. So we'll add our chocolate, and then I'm gonna add a quarter cup coconut milk. So I'm gonna add that in with the chocolate. And why don't you whisk that together? And we'll just let that all melt and come together. This is just the base of our traditional ganache. There's really nothing different from regular ganache except we're just using coconut milk, which you can also find at any grocery store. I want to just dip my finger into <laughs> this right now. I know, it looks like, there's nothing more beautiful than melted chocolate. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil. This will give it that nice sheen, shiny texture. Just keep whisking it in. It might seem at first when you add the oil that it's not gonna blend in, but if you keep whisking, I assure you it will. Here we have our piping bag. So this is what we're gonna use to fill the cupcakes. And I'm just gonna stuff it. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna get started filling our cupcakes. Okay. If you wanna just keep whisking that till it's smooth. Uh, I'll do one and then you can do one. This is so easy. So what I usually like to do, I just make sure the tip is clean because we want to try to keep it as clean on top as possible. But I like to go in from, a, from the side mm -hmm. at an angle. So like this. And then just squeeze. And if it starts to break on top, just push it down. These look amazing. Should we finish them off? Yes, please. Okay, so I've got the offset. This is my favorite little tool in the kitchen. This is mini offset spatula. You can do anything with this. You can frost a huge cake with it. You can frost cupcakes with it. It's just, you gotta have one. It's an essential tool. And I'm just gonna go for it, take a little bit of ganache. Oh my God, that looks so good. And then just carefully spread it around. It has like a homemade chic to it. Exactly. Yeah. So you wanna try? Sure. Okay. Wow, it's so smooth. It like glides on so easily. Okay, so I'm gonna decorate the top. So I just start on one corner and one, two, Three. Sometimes I do three, sometimes I do four. It doesn't really matter. Okay, Naz, I'll try yours, you try mine. How about that? 
These okay. just look so gooey and chocolatey. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. As they say in the old country, the time. <laughs> Oh, oh, so good. Oh, good. It's so fluffy and creamy on the inside. It's just the best of both worlds. Going. <laughs> Why did you teach me this? I'm gonna start making these every day. I'm so glad you like them. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this was so fun. Thanks for. I wish you could cook with me every day. I do too. This has really been fun. Uh, so grab a girlfriend, grab a few of these ingredients, and whip up some close to cupcakes. It'll make your day a little bit sweeter. For this recipe, click below, and be sure to subscribe to The Hungry Channel. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>